Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And today I want to talk about the Springbok fly hop depth because um, I put a poll up yesterday on the, the community tab on the channel. And uh, when doing so, it, it sort of made me reflect on where we are with regards to Springbok fly hop depth because it's a position which a year ago was a massive, massive headache uh, for the Springboks. And yet a year later, it almost suddenly seems to be, you know, one of the most stocked positions in terms of options, not necessarily experienced options, options that have played international rugby before and have played for the Springboks. But all of a sudden, it seems to be a position with so much young and upcoming talent who have all put their hands up over the season. So I thought it would be an interesting uh, uh, video to do, to just talk a little bit about the various options, you know, exactly where they are and, and uh, why this is such an exciting time for Springbok fans because, you know, flower halves are your quarterbacks in the NFL, for example. They are your your exciting players, your big name players, you know, your superstars usually. And, um, you know, South Africa have had some very fantastic flower halves in the past, um, but also had sometimes had struggles at, at flower half. And I think we've got a very much a new breed of flower half coming through, which I also think is going to be very interesting to sort of see how that goes. And um, before we get into it, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right. So um, the rise of Siam Suku, I think maybe is probably one of the, the major reasons why I was really interested in looking at sort of the fly hop depth. We go back a year ago and the spring marks were almost undone by one of the big reasons that they've been so successful. And that is that they identify a group of players and it's a large group of players and a smaller group of players. And they kind of commit to them. You know, they kind of look at players who align with the squad, align with the vision of how they want to play, what the plan is, and and they back it. And uh, that was then sort of thrown into turmoil with, obviously, the Alton Yankee situation, for example, Andre Pollard injuries. And all of a sudden, you know, we're going into a World Cup, or well, I suppose we go back two years ago, you know, we were walking around without a flower option. We had Dave Villains to play flower half, but it's not necessarily his base position. Um, they had to bring in Molly Leibock. We played a couple of games in in that sort of alternation series back in 2022. But 2023, we're going into the World Cup without a fly half who had played more than about 10 games at fly half. You know, my Leibach is the, as sort of the main option. Damien Williams is the secondary option. Fafta Kler, Cheskin Colby, spoken about as options, but not players who had played at international level at fly half. Um, you know, that's the reality. And we did. We had to give minutes to Fafta Kler um, at... Uh, at Flahoff during the World Cup. And Mike Leibach was, you know, the number one choice. And then he had his own struggles. And it's amazing how things change so quickly because now, looking ahead, you know, you've got your, your incumbent Flahoff and Andre Pollard. You've got your then backup option and Mike Leibach, who, interestingly enough, when we did our poll yesterday, which had almost 500 votes, received almost 60% of the votes as instead of the second choice. But it's amazing how many new options have presented themselves in the last six months. Um, and uh, one of the big options is obviously Sue Masuku, who's been invited to uh, the Bok camp. Looks to be everything. Looks to be the complete package. Still has a lot to learn, I think, with regards to game management, but looks to have everything in the skill set and his arsenal to be a top-class flower half. He kicks off the team immaculately, um, and he's reasonably physical, and those are such important parts for playing for spring marks, especially at flower half. Um, he's then uh, got a decent... Um, a kicking game, but that's I think, something that needs to work on. But very good with the, with regards to the way he gets the back line going, attacking natured. Uh, we've all seen the rise in the Humber as a number 10. I mean, the most untraditional uh, type of fly half, you know, really, really small, like literally small player, but um, incredibly brave, incredibly quick. Uh, also pretty good off the tee, but, um, you know, plays very sort of front ball, uh, front foot rugby, Loves a color pass, loves to run it himself, but completely different to your hundred parod mold with regards to the physicality um, perspective. But incredibly brave player. Um, and then you've got uh, the the young options. You know your your Sasha Fame and Gomazulu, who is somebody who's touted to be the next Springbok flower. Um, I do rate him. Um, I think you'd be silly not to. But I do think he's a player that is very much a still a player for the future. And I think a player that needs to be allowed to grow, to make mistakes, to come through the system. Um, organically and not be forced into Springbok's uh, setups and stuff until he is ready. You know, I, I think I've seen some fantastic games with him for the Stormers. I've also seen some games which have proven that he's maybe not quite at the level that some people might think he is. So you need to allow him the time to develop. Um, we Unfortunately, I've also seen a bit of a drop-off from Jordan Hendricks. Sir. Now he's going to have to go and compete with Sia Masuku next season. So I think that the signing from him has not really paid the dividends that he'll probably want. 
Um, but funny enough, what's interesting is we're talking about all these player options, uh, and we're not even talking about, for example, anybody from the Bulls who are kind of the best side in South Africa. We're not even talking about Chris Smith, who's kind of dropped off the radar a little bit. Jan Kulisson, who I think had his opportunity to go back to the box, had his injury issues, and then kind of was never really drafted in. Um, and that's without mentioning, you know, your likes of a Robert Dupriya, who's had a fantastic season in in the Premiership. Um, and 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 is, and you know and there's so many more players in tears to be I think, you know, not necessarily somebody who's going to need to be on the Springbok radar. It's been great for Carter since moving over. So I think that we're now moving into a bit of a golden generation of flower halves, hopefully, with regards to the upcoming talent. But I also think it's a very different type of flower halves. You know, traditionally we had flower halves, your Butch James, your Mornay Staines, um, your, your Andre Pollard, who um, weren't necessarily the most tacky nature, didn't necessarily have the, the skill set that, you know, some, for example, Jan Kursen had when he came through, which is why he was, you know, Tata's such an exciting player. But I look at a Sia Masuku, Flash Fame, Gomazudu, Stena Hammer, Jordan Hendrickson. Uh, they're part of a next new generation, Monty Libok, of, of flower halves who love to have the ball in the hand, but also, but more so from a creative point of view than a crash ball or, 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 or carrying themselves point of view. And I think that it's going to be very interesting to see how this new breed of flower, especially if you watch the Varsity Cup, for example, I don't think you'll see a single flower half there who is this big, massive physical presence, maybe the CUT, uh, Ixius uh, flower half. But a lot of them were, were very sort of flare orientated, loved, you know, cut up passes, floating passes, pops, you know, wraparounds. They love to play attacking nature rugby. And if this is the type of flower coming through, that's going to influence the way the box will play because, you know, you've got to play to everyone's strengths. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see how these new flower halves do make a difference with regards to uh, the progression of a spring mark rugby but what i want to know from you is who do you think is the next big thing down in the comments below please do smash like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is steve i'll chat to you soon